What's up everybody, this is Fahrenheit Motorsports and today we're talking about iOS 14 beta as well as the Apple CarPlay. So you guys have probably already seen some of the enhancements to iOS 14, the redesign of the home screen called the App Library. Um, Apple now has widgets which come in a different uh, variety of sizes um, and they are very highly customizable. Um, one of the options that you'll see on screen is called the Smart Stack. And that smart stack gives you the ability to put multiple widgets in one tile and sort through them all. You also have picture in a picture, which is pretty cool because beforehand, if you got out of any video you were playing, it would cease to exist. Um, now you can actually keep that video running in the background and manipulate your phone as usual without losing that video reference. Currently, it's only through the web browser, but I'm sure that at some point it'll come down to like YouTube and some of the other uh, fancy apps. They also did some updates to Siri, redesign is some enhancement to voice commands. You can also use widgets, uh, voice messages, and a better voice to text option. Uh, Apple also proudly has a translation app, which they mention is to better or um, help out with different conversations featuring 11 languages. Um, you also are gonna see text messaging getting a bump in style allowing users to pin messages at the very top uh, for users that basically would text somebody non-stop you can now quickly access those messages um, you can reply reply to specific messages like in facebook messenger and if you are doing group chats you can actually use a feature um, that allows you to get notified only when you are mentioned and this is called mentions now with that being said, let's get into the iOS CarPlay, which is what you guys are here for. All right, so let's get into some of the features that you're gonna see with CarPlay iOS 14. Um, you're gonna notice some updates to not only the map, uh, but Siri and also some of the backgrounds. Now you'll notice the same split window design here, um, and that was new with iOS 13. Uh, but you're also going to notice some changes here to the settings section, um, which is wallpaper. Now, the do not disturb while driving, the appearances, um, suggestion in the um, background, as well as show album mark cover. That's all stuff that you got with iOS 13. Uh, but here, the changes to the wallpaper, you now have five different wallpapers that you can choose from. I know that doesn't seem like it's a lot right now. Uh, but this is only the beta version. I would assume and it would also be really cool if they allowed you to do custom wallpapers going forward. Um, but here it allows you to choose any number of one of those wallpapers. Um, and you can actually change the um, hue or the scheme of that wallpaper by either going between the standard mode or the dark mode. So it does give you a couple different options. Let's say at least 10 different options that you can choose from. Um, now some other enhancements that they did, we are talking about Siri. So there's some cool things that you can do from your device, um, specifically only using Siri. So now Siri will allow you to do a voice option um, on your regular cell phone. Well, you can now carry that over to CarPlay. So for whatever reason you wanted to send somebody a voice message, you can do that on your phone. Another option that you're gonna see here on screen is sharing your location. So if you've enabled location share with other users that have uh, iOS or Apple, you can now share your location or ETA um, with any one of them. So if you wanted to send uh, a friend, family member, um, wife, if you wanted to send them location information, you can now do that, um, which is a, a fantastic feature. You also notice on screen, like I said before, the ability to send voice messages strictly by using Siri. Now you're gonna see some new features here uh, on iOS 14. One of them is gonna be the ability to do quick parking. Um, you can also find EV charging stations as well as the ability to find locations that do quick food ordering. And you'll notice that layout change coming with the release of iOS 14. And the last feature that we wanted to talk about today is Digital Car Key. It's not a CarPlay specific app, but it is an iOS 14 app that allows you to get access to your vehicle. Now, it's gonna start initially with the 2021 BMW 5 Series, but we expect that to roll out to a number of vehicles and be utilized across the board. Now, it's a simple feature. Um, you put your phone to the uh, door, it allows the unlocking and uh, starting and accessing of the vehicle. You can share those parameters with uh, any number of people and you can also revoke them. Now, this is a secure feature and we expect this to be utilized in a number of vehicles going forward. Now, with that being said, that was the iOS 14 overview. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments if this was helpful. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy this coming out soon.